This video reviews how to apply the index match function pair to an Excel workbook using the Python library OpenPixel. In this document, you can see five rows of food, each color coded with the color written out next to it. Column D contains that exact same data, but is organized in a different way. So let's start by taking a look and reviewing the index match function as if I was to write it into Excel directly. I'll go ahead and start it right here. And here we can see the index function with all of the arguments that it accepts. The one that we are concerned with is the array argument. I always remember this as the column with the value we want to return. In this case, we want to return a value that exists in column A. I'll go ahead and select that right here. Now what I will do is pass the match function as the second argument to the index function. And here we can see the arguments that match needs. The lookup value is the value that we have on hand that we are trying to locate in a reference column elsewhere. For us, that lookup value is D1. The lookup array, which is that reference column located elsewhere in the document, is the second argument here. For us, that is column B. It's where we know the value in D1 to exist. And the last argument is whether or not we want to return an exact match. In this case, we do so, so I'm going to enter zero to indicate exact match, as you can see right there. Now with this closed out, you can see that green is accurately displaying next to pair. I will delete this function and save and close the document so that I can re-input both in one cell and then the entire column, the index match function. So here I start by bringing in the workbook as WB and selecting the worksheet as WS. I will then be saving all of the work in this cell below it. I will start by bringing over the function as I had just displayed it to you. Here we can see that I am assigning cell E1, which is the cell that I had just input information into, the same index match function that I had just demonstrated. To show this works, I will quickly execute the cell, save the document, and reopen it to show you the work. And here we can see green has returned to cell E1. I will go ahead and delete it again, save it, and show you how to apply the entire function to that column. I will go ahead and grab a for loop that I have written ahead of time and explain in detail how this works. Here we see a for loop iterating through a range of numbers. I start with the number one and use the max row attribute of the worksheet to designate when the loop should stop. I add one to that last number in the range function because the range function does not include the second number within the loop. So if I want to loop from one through five, which represents the range of cells that I do have in the document, I have to state we need to loop in a range one through six. Using the max row attribute ensures that the loop exits once there is no more rows of data. Each iterating variable is called row in this case, as you can see right here. I am selecting each row as they iterate up one by one, making sure that my match lookup value is also increasing so that the row of column E matches the lookup value in column D. The rest of the function remains the same, as you can see in the cell above. Let me go ahead and execute the cell. I will then save the document and reopen the workbook to show the work. And here we can see that the index match function has been applied correctly to each row, returning the correct color for each food. So as you can see, it is quite easy. All you have to do is write out the index match function and make sure that the lookup value is searching for the correct value as you are iterating through the loop and moving down the rows. Thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments if this was a helpful video. Let me know what other features of OpenPixel or Python you would like to see reviewed in these videos. And please do hit that subscribe button so that you can know when the next video drops.